Hi guys, welcome back again. This is Shrika. Today in this video, we will be talking about the one of the important procedure called as B SP who and SP who to. Okay, so let me run SP who to. Before running this SP, I just want to give you some brief uh, information about these two SPs. Basically, this will tell you how many users are connected to your SQL server and what sessions they are having uh, from which application they are connected how many CPU resources they have taken are they in the blocking state or how they block someone so this kind of information you can see just let me run it when I run SP who I will see the few columns the first one is the SPID so SPID will tell me the session ID of the server. So if my if if my user is connected to SQL server, I can see his session on the server and I can see his session through the SPID. I can get more detail basically through the SPID. So then next is status. So there are a lot of status that when your session should be created with the server. So uh, it might be having suspended status, might be having a block status, it may be background, it all it may be sleeping. There are a lot of session basically. We'll talk about it one by one next is login name which login name you have used to connect to sql so i have used login name as sa then so i am seeing it as sa host name you can see it is as uh, data it's a server name basically uh, here you can see the desktop right server name so this is just basically server name you can configure it as ip also then the block by here you can see if this session is blocked by some other uh, some other session or not i will show you practically then the database name then which command you are passing short in short so this kind of information you can see with the help of sp who to so basically there is another sp and uh, which will give us more information rather than sp who so if i'll try to understand the columns here so i can see the first column which is a spid this is same and which will give me the session id right next is status of that particular session then the login name then the host by and block by then next is db name come right then the command log writer lazy, li lazy writer basically log writer just to write the data to the log lazy writer just to removing the spaces uh, removing the dirty pages from the buffer caches so that other can get the free spaces then which CPU time sorry then cpu time how much cpu time they have taken then the last batch right so this is all about these two important sp this two important this two sp are very important uh, if you are a db and you want to know you want to understand which 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 session has blocked which session and how many users are connected to the system how many sessions are there so this kind of information you can get it through this two procedure hope you like our video regarding the sp who and sp who thanks for watching